Hey guys, uh, we shall take a few more uh, basic problems on the transform and ROC. Uh, the sequence is x of n is 1, 2, 1, 3, 4. Uh, I have put the arrow mark at uh, 1. Uh, this is nothing but what? This is a finite length right shaded sequence. This is at n equal to 0, n equal to 1, n equal to 2, n equal to 3, n equal to 4, right? So x of 0 is 1, x of 1 is 2, x of 2 is 1, dot dot dot, and last sample is 4, fine? So by looking at the sequence, I can directly say it's ROC. But Z transform, we need to check it, right? So what is ROC of a finite length right shaded sequence? It is entire Z plane except at Z equal to 0, right? Okay. Uh, solution. Solution. What is X of Z? X of Z is summation n varying from minus infinity to infinity. X of n, Z power minus n. So X of Z is equal to. Uh, I have one more method to solve it. Uh, shall I convert it to delta function? So since we know the Z transform of delta function, we will convert this sequence to delta function. How do we convert this to delta function? So at n equal to 0, it is delta of n and its amplitude is 1 plus at n equal to 1 is nothing but delta of n shifted right one time and its amplitude scaled by a factor of 2. I can write it as 2 times delta of n minus 1 plus at n equal to 2, right? Delta of n shifted right 2 times and its amplitude scaled by a factor of 1. So it is nothing but delta of n minus 2 plus delta of n shifted right 3 times and its amplitude scaled by a factor of 3. So 3 times delta of n minus 3 plus delta of n shifted right 4 times and its amplitude is scaled by a factor of 4. So 4 times delta of n minus 4. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Fine. Now once if I get the finite length sequence into delta function, finding its Z transform is easier. Okay. So if I if I take Z transform, this is not required actually. I can solve it. I even have showed you in the previous videos, but we'll take take up another method. So if I take if I take Z transform on both sides. So what is the Z transform of X of N? It is X of Z is equal to so what is the transform of delta of n? Or let me write it. Okay, Z transform of x of n is equal to Z transform of delta of n plus Z transform of 2 times delta of n minus 1 plus Z transform of delta of n minus 2 plus Z transform of 3 times delta of n minus 3 plus Z transform of 4 times delta of n minus 4. So what is the transform of x of n? It is x of z, right? Is equal to what is the transform of delta of n? It is 1, which we have done it in previous video, right? Plus, what is the transform of delta of n minus 1? Uh, if you forgot, the transform of delta of n minus n0 is what? z power minus n0. The transform of delta of n plus n0 is what? z power n0 right so here z transform of delta of n minus n0 n0 is 1 right so it is z power minus 1 and 2 you retain as it is because linearity property holds good in z transform which we will prove it later okay plus this is z power minus 2 with no scaling right plus this is 3 times z power minus 3 plus this is 4 times z power minus 4 fine so this is the Z transform of the sequence of this. Okay, and what is our ROC? Magnitude of Z is greater than zero. How did I write this? Because it's a finite length right shaded sequence. Correct now? Okay. So similarly, uh, I'll write it here itself. If I write this in terms of delta function, what is X of n? X of n is nothing but this is actually delta of n. Uh, <coughs> I'll, I'll write it here delta of n and it is 2 times plus and this is delta of n shifted left one time and it's amplitude scaled by a factor of 4 right so it is 4 times delta of n plus 1 right so plus this is delta of n shifted left 2 times its amplitude scaled by a factor of minus 3 so it is minus 3 times delta of n plus 2 and this is delta of n shifted left 3 times, its amplitude scaled by a factor of 4. So it is nothing but 4 times delta of n plus 3. And this is shifted left 4 times. So it is delta of n plus 4. Plus. So this is how we can convert this sequence into 
delta function and again this these are these things we have discussed in the previous videos i don't know it might be in a, a prerequisite video of uh, convolution sum but we have discussed it if you want you can go to that videos okay now uh, if i take the transform on both side take the transform on both side so what do we get so x of z is equal to what is the transform of delta of n plus 4 the transform of delta of n plus n naught is z power plus n naught so delta of n plus 4 is z power 4 plus 4 times z cube minus 3 times z square plus this is 4 times z power 1 which is z plus 2 delta of n is 1 2 times 1 is 1 ok so what is its ROC magnitude of z is less than infinity how did I write that because it's a finite length left sided sequence ok you can put the formula and you can do you end up with the same result but this is one more way to uh, find its z transform ok I feel this uh, solving something like this is easier compared to putting the formula because it's lengthier. Now, uh, the next problem is uh, x of n is uh, it's a finite length uh, double sided sequence, right? So, solution so I'll write I'll convert this into delta function. So, x of n is equal to this is at n equal to 0 it is nothing but minus of delta of n why did i write minus because it is kept by a factor of minus 1 ok plus so shifted right one time shifted right two time and its corresponding scaling factor which is nothing but 3 times delta of n minus 1 plus 2 times delta of n minus 2 and this is shifted left one time shifted left two time right so 2 scaling factor is 2 and 1 so it is 2 times delta of n plus 1 plus delta of n plus 2 because no scaling factor right so take the transform on both side so the transform of x of n is x of z is equal to it is z square plus 2 z minus 1 plus 3 z power minus 1 plus 2 z power minus 2 so this is the z transform ok and what is ROC? ROC is in between 0 and infinity how did I write this? because it's a finite length double sided sequence ok now next sequence is e of n minus e of n minus phi and what is this do you remember this sequence is it finite length or infinite length it's a finite length right so when I uh, this is e of n is subtracted with e of n shifted right 5 times so 0 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 4 3 2 1 0 so shift it right 5 times now so 1 2 3 4 5 so start from here 6 7 8 6 7 8 and dot 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 so 1 minus 0 is 1 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 and 1 minus 1 0 0 0 it's forever 0 ok so 0 1 2 3 4 so this is a sequence u of n minus u of n minus 5 fine so if I write it in terms of delta function what is x of n? x of n is nothing but so this is at n equal to 0 which is delta of n plus this is at n equal to 1 delta of n shifted right one time plus delta of n shifted right two time plus delta of n shifted right three time plus delta of n shifted right four time right so what is its the transform so take the transform on both side so what do we get x of z is equal to so it is 1 plus z power minus 1 plus z power minus 2 plus z power minus 3 plus z power minus 4 so what is its ROC? magnitude of z what is its ROC? it's a finite length what? right sided sequence no so it is greater than 0 so ROC is magnitude of z is greater than 0 ok next so next sequence is x of n is 0 0.9 power n e of n so solution so this is of the form what x of n is equal to what a power n e of n form right so it's a infinite length right sided sequence and we derived this z transform now so what is the transform of this x of n which is equal to x of z what is the z transform of a power n e of n it is z dy by z minus a right what is its roc magnitude of z is greater than magnitude of a right 
it's outside the circle with radius a okay so therefore what is x offset for this sequence it is z divided by z divided by z minus a and what is a value it is 0 0.9 magnitude offset is greater than a and a is 0 0.9 okay so this is the z transform and roc and i have to sketch the roc roc is the pole is at 0 0.9 this is a circle with radius 0.9 so it is outside so this is the ROC region so this is real part offset and this is imaginary part offset okay okay what about this sequence so this is of the form x of n is equal to what minus b power n u of minus n minus 1 I think you remember this sequence it's a infinite length left sided sequence right and we, de we derived this right what is x offset for this it is nothing but z u by z minus p both uh, right sided left sided the z transform is same only thing is roc will change here roc is what less than b it is roc is inside the circle okay so therefore what is x offset for this it is of the form z u by z minus p z u by z minus what is the value of b it is 0 0.1 0 0.1 and magnitude offset is less than 0.1 b is 0.1 so it's if i take it to z plane so i have a pole at 0.1 so circle with radius 0.1 so sorry it is inside the circle right it is inside the circle with radius 0.1 this is the roc so this is the real part of z and this is imaginary part of z